Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol AAPL Apple. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. I'm not sure what I mean by 30 minute. I do offer an explanation video at that link. Well, quite the eventful day on this one, although not much change from the overall technical uh, you know, levels that I've talked about in past videos. So this will mean a little bit more, I suppose, to those of you that have maybe watched some of the videos in the past. But the main level that really came out again was the 133 mark, which is represented by that first red line right there. And you can see it made itself known, big movement up. And then right there, surprise, surprise, that's right where the price got rejected back, uh, you know, down in the, you know, the, the bearish direction. Now, it's not like the price was absolutely destroyed or anything like that, but just goes to illustrate that, yeah, the, apparently this 133 mark is going to be a very annoying level and a level that, you know, you want to keep an eye on, you know, as things play out moving forward. So if there is going to be any sort of bigger breakout through this overarching level up there, that, uh, you know, overall level of resistance, it's become very apparent after today that, yeah, right now, not really worth paying much attention to that until the price can first break up above that initial level at 133. So you're going to want to continue to keep a very close eye on that. As far as areas of support are concerned, nothing new here to report. Still all about this 130.25-ish area mark down here, which is that green line. And you can see the price hasn't even come, you know, close to really being testing it today, especially after today. So keep a close eye on that from the support side of things. But it seems as though the main dynamic going into next week is all about that resistance right there. And, you know, first off, can the price get back up above the, to that area? But then the bigger question mark is, can the price actually break above it and stay above it? So 133 is going to be one of those areas that everybody and their brother's uncle is going to be watching next week. So we'll see how that level continues to play out. But overall, good solid movement. Good to see that Apple is, you know, consolidating at a much higher level. So from a trend building perspective, this is the exact type of behavior that you would want to see happen. So it'll be interesting to see how this one continues to play out moving forward. First off, thanks so much for watching the entire video. Real quick, before you go, I wanna invite you to a live webinar, web class, training, workshop, online event, whatever you wanna call it, but it will be me live revealing to you what I discovered that has allowed me to transform myself from being an employee to being my own boss, including how I had only one losing day out of 73 days in total. I'm going to cover three keys that have helped me unlock profitable consistency within the markets. The first key is super weird, but in a productive type of way. The second key is super awesome because it quite literally is wired into our DNA as humans, making it very easy to use. But in a cruel way, this becomes a pitfall for many traders. I'll explain it all though, including how to avoid the pitfall that it creates for some. And yeah, the third key, when you hear it, sounds way too, good, way too good to be true, but it's not, and I'll show you how it all works. Then at the end, I open it up for a question and answer session that is, again, totally live. Even if you can't make the live session, please still sign up as it will be recorded, and you can go back and watch the replay that I will send you. Click the image on the screen or click the link down in the description box so you can get the date and time and claim your spot, which I should note is limited due to the fact that this truly is a live event. If you have any questions, let me know. If not, I'll be seeing you soon.